Circles, Unraveling the Mystery in Geometry Hello everyone! Today, we'll dive deep into the world of geometry, focusing specifically on one of the most fascinating shapes, the circle. By the end of this video, you'll have a better understanding of circles and their properties, which will help you in tackling SAT math problems more confidently. A circle is a shape with all points the same distance from its center. The distance from the center to a point on the circle is called the radius. If we take two radii and stretch them across the circle from one side to the other, we get the diameter, which is twice the length of the radius. Circumference, the distance around the circle. To calculate it, use the formula c equals pi x diameter or c equals 2 pi x radius. Chord, a line segment with both endpoints on the circle. The diameter is the longest chord in a circle. Arc, a part of the circumference. It's often measured in degrees or length. Sector, a portion of the circle enclosed by two radii and the arc between them. Central angle, an angle whose vertex is at the center of the circle and whose sides are radii. 1. Area of a circle. A equals pi x radius squared. 2. Circumference of a circle. C equals 2 pi x radius or C equals pi x diameter. 3. Length of an arc. In terms of degrees, length equals central angle. 360, x circumference. 4. Area of a sector. Area equals, central angle, 360, x, pi x radius squared. Remember, in the context of the SAT, you might not always be given the value of pi. When you need to do calculations, use 3.14 as an approximation for pi. There are several properties of circles that come up frequently in SAT problems. 1. The inscribed angle theorem. An angle inscribed in a circle is half the measure of the central angle that subtends the same arc. 2. Tangent radius property. A tangent to a circle is perpendicular to the radius drawn to the point of tangency. 3. Chords and arcs. Equal chords in a circle subtend equal angles at the center, and thus, subtend equal arcs. Circles are not only beautiful but also packed with intriguing properties. With a firm grasp on these concepts, you'll be well equipped to tackle circle problems on the SAT. Keep practicing, and remember, Geometry is all about visualizing and understanding the relationships between shapes. Happy studying, and may your efforts form a full circle of success.